Okay guys, now I'm going to show you something. Now, this is the part of it where there's a little bit of hard work involved. Now these are called, we in Jamaica call these drills, but they are banks. So what we are going to do, I'm going to show you what to do with the band. Now these are already pre-drilled, that's why I'm showing you this one. And by the way, you all notice that all the tools I've been using so far is a simple home. That. And by the way, you all just hang on a minute. I need gloves. Yeah, my fingers are soft. Sue me. So now guys, I'm breathing a little hard because, well, you know, this is fairly, fairly hard work. But now, as you notice, these are mounds right here. These are proximity. These, from here, here is should be around 24 to 30 inches across same thing from here to here anywhere from 24 to 30 inches and here you have your mound right here and this is where you're going to plant your yam in this mound right here now as you can see let me just think the mash it down See that? That is very, very soft. And that is what you're looking for. That is the reason you drill them. Now, let me actually show you how it was done. Now, I should point out, by the way, that this is sweet potato, these things here. And that is how you generally plant sweet potato as well. But, let me give you a demonstration of how the mounds are made. So what you do, you stand on either side like this. And you bring up your dirt from that side. And you bring up your dirt from that side. And you do it like that. These are already done, so they are 
actually fairly easy and as you can see there's a lot of organic matter in here and that provides excessive amounts of nutrients nutri of nutrients especially nitrogen so I'm going to drill you're going to bring up your mound this way and you're going to bring them up and you're going to carry them across like that that and you're going to end up with a nice mound something like this So that is it. Now, along the top right here, 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 and so on, along the top right here, perhaps every 18 or so inches is what you plant one mini set yam so here 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 and so on and so forth so that is what you do now So this is your drill or your mound and things like this you are going to want to remove because they are hard and they prevent your yams or whatever it is from growing properly. Now, Now that we have done our mound for our yam, and this is the mound that you're going to plant your yam, one yam every 18 or so inches, one spout every 18 or so inches, you're simply going to just dig a little hole there, take, transfer your spout, and you're going to cover it. Dig another mold, hole there, transfer for your spout, and you're going to cover it. Now the reason this works so well the reason this works so well is because we are going to do something called mulching. Now, as this dirt stands right here, you can imagine that when the sun comes down on it and beats down on this exposed dirt, even if it rained just a few minutes ago, all the moisture from this dirt here is going to evaporate. So we are going to do two things. We are going to fertilize it and we are going to do something to keep the moisture in the soil and that two thing those two things are done with one thing and it's called mulch let me demonstrate Grass, dried grass, dried grass, dried vegetation, vegetation that will not grow. So you will take this and you will then cover your mound just like this. So you will, the part that was exposed is no longer exposed the only part that will be exposed is where you have your where you have your yam spout coming up in between right here and so this is completely covered over now this dried grass right here it provides nutrient 
lots of nitrogen and other types of nutrients. It also provides a covering for the ground and it slows evaporation and keeps the moisture in the soil at the same time. So it's two for one. And that's all there is to it. And you would drill all of this, go all the way up there, and you would do exactly this. You would cover every single mound, just like I have demonstrated here. And that is all there is. All you need, if you have done this properly, all you will need when you plant your yams, after you have transplanted your yams, is one single good shower of rain and that single shower of rain will take you from growing to maturity and that is all there is to it of course you are going to stick them but you're not going to do it in the traditional way where you stick a stick in the ground you're going to make an arbor now i'm sure i don't have to tell you what an arbor is it's going to be some sticks driven in the ground run run along the top of right here and the vines the yam vines are going to curl up on top of it and that is all there is to it. You have done that. You don't need more than... Um, you go to the market and you buy one pound of yam. And you have a little space around the back where you usually plant flowers. Um, yeah, flowers are nice. But food is nicer. And so if it's a choice between planting your flowers in that section or planting some yams. I would suggest plant some yams. I'm just saying my piece and this has been another episode of food insecurity. Thank you all for watching and you all have a great day.